Hi, welcome back to Greenhouse Talk. Today is Thursday, March 2nd. We're going to talk about hay. I got a really nice email from a couple new friends to the channel, Kenny and Elizabeth. They saw me wrestling the round bale and thought I might be a pretty good person Kenny, to ask. Kenny, Elizabeth, this one's for you. This one's a little heavier than the other one. Well, I'll tell you what I know. When I'm looking at the deep mulch, I'm using whatever organic material I can get my hands on. I like hay, I like straw, but there's a real problem with that and it's a common question I get from a lot of viewers. What if there's herbicide on there? Well, take a look at this bale. Now, if your hay has stuff like this in it, you know it wasn't sprayed. But that's okay, we're building mulch. We're not feeding animals, so I don't care. I think the key really is to know who you're getting the hay from. I've also had pretty good luck going on Facebook Marketplace, but I go for the cheapest hay I can get. And if it's not the best quality, I'm pretty much sure they haven't sprayed anything on there. Now these straw bales, yeah, they're growing wheat. But I know that field was sprayed with something, but I'm assuming that that wheat stood out there long enough and was rained on enough that anything that might be on the wheat itself is already washed off. I had pretty good luck that way. When we're talking about no-till and deep mulch, it could be back to Eden, it could be roof stout, we could use all leaves, we could use all wood chips. I like to use fresh mown grass. I can never get enough of any one of those things to cover my entire garden. And that's why I started just kind of mixing it all together. And the other thing about using hay or any other kind of organics for a deep mulch is it swings in temperature. I mean, here in northeastern Oklahoma last year, we got down to minus 13 for a week. And it gets up to 115, 116 easy in the summer. Good thing it doesn't last very long. And we've seen that through the storms this winter. I planted and everything's growing. I'm a real fan of the deep mulch. Some of the other things you can use is kitchen scraps, torn up cardboard, brown paper sacks. You can even use wood shavings like what I have on the floor here in the greenhouse. I've used it out in the garden that said nothing will grow through that. So I thought that'd be great around the edges. You know what? You still have to put it down four inches thick. Stuff grows right through it. This is a really good mulch. Right here's a perfect example of the wood chips. And this is an early spring weed. But I don't have it very thick right here and it just come right on up. So to keep the weeds from germinating, you do actually have to have whatever your mulch is at least four inches thick. Thicker's the better. Now Kenny, the one answer I really don't know about, and that's planting back for fall grazing. Well, I do know how fast this breaks down. And I put it in real thick and I've got areas already where I need to add some more. And in August, it's gonna be down to bare soil in a lot of places if I don't add. And one thing I would say is don't plow. The reason I say that is because the mulch doesn't feed your plants. The mulch only feeds the life in the soil. The life in the soil feeds your plants. If you want to learn more about the life in the soil, there'll be a link at the end of this episode. But it comes down to if you start tilling or start plowing, all you're going to do is tear up that life. And it takes a little while to get going. But once it gets going, you can plant and things grow all winter long. I'm just amazed at the production I have. And all I've done is just drop this mulch on the surface and let it go. Now as your mulch breaks down you might get a weed or two coming up but it's still pretty easy to get rid of those. You just kick them out with your toe and they become part of the mulch. Part of the cut and drop type system. Kenny thank you for sending me that message and I sure hope this helps. Now if you want to learn more about deep mulch click that link right there and I'll meet you right back here in the garden. But until next time remember take care of yourself, take care of your family and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.